Hey, it was good afternoon, everyone. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Boris. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy to use widget. This is going to be a quick reaction to the Eagles Zach Ertz trade that they're able to get Tay Gowan, the rookie cornerback who went to UCF in and a fifth round pick for next year's draft. This is my second time recording this video because it got all spazzy the first time. So let's get right into it. His prospect grade coming into the draft was a 5.67. He did, of course, have the caveat take Allen, though, of he opted out of the 2020 season after only having one starting season of FBS ball at UCF before that because he went to Butler Community College where he intercepted six and broke up four other passes in 2018 prior to coming to UCF. And he played 12 games there where he had 31 tackles, one for a loss, two picks, and eight pass breakups. But unfortunately, he was diagnosed with COVID-19 that is still going around, of course, and then opted out of last season. So that was unfortunate for him and his projections in the draft. Maybe he would have went more as a 3-4 guy or rather than a 5-7 through seven round guy and ended up getting picked in the 6, of course, by the Arizona Cardinals. And now is a member of our Philadelphia Eagles via the Zach Ertz trade that, again, was we got a 5th round pick for next year's draft and Tay Gallon for Zach Ertz. This just seemed like one of those trades my co-host Andrew Santangelo described me. Let me know your thoughts down below, either if it's on Facebook or Twitter or on here on YouTube. Um, I think it's just one of those underwhelming trades where you get somebody that maybe has some pop potential because he did opt out of a season. It looked like he was trending in the right direction, coming from community college, having a good season at UCF. So what would he have done in that final season to then project up in the draft? But <clears throat> it seems like an underwhelming trade from the perspective of my co-host Andrew brings up a good point when I said, well, maybe he does have a little bit of, like, ability to develop over time because of that. It looked like he was trending in the right direction. They said, when I read the strengths on NFL, that he added 20 pounds since coming into college and actually added more to his frame, which is something he had to do, and he's a strong challenger on 50-50 balls. And a big thing that I did also, like, that I read is he's pretty good at crowding the receivers, which is something that certain Eagles corners have not been good at doing. The only problem on his weaknesses is he's not that good at backpedaling, and he's not that good at keeping up um, with guys that are more connected in routes at best speed or quicker route runners because of those weaknesses. But he is somebody that did make a strong effort to get better with his little experience and seemed to have that good work ethic. So it's somebody that sounds like when you read all that, that you read from NFL and different reports going into the draft that I read before doing this video, he still needs to get stronger, and he still obviously needs to get quicker at gathering and redirecting his weight downhill to cover somebody and doing his backpedaling. But if he was on a team that, again, was like a Belichick or a like even Rams team that develops defenders solidly and all that, or an Andy Reid scheme, if we were in that, then you would say, well, this might be a little bit more in the future, not an underwhelming trade, and more one of those trades you look to that you're never going to get somebody that's to the level of Zach Ertz. He won us the Super Bowl, for God's sake. He was one of our best receivers, other than Harold Carmichael, for God's sake. He was one of the like better guys of all time when it came to just receiving, whether he's a tight end or not, or a receiver, whatever the hell you want to consider him. He obviously was a tight end, but he was one of our best receivers of all time too when it came to those stats. So you're never going to get somebody that compares to Zach Ertz, and you're never going to get that in this trade because you have Howie Roseman as our GM in the first place. But you hopefully are able to maybe get a guy that develops into a solid corner because it looked like he was trending right. But what is our coaching staff going to do to develop him? This coaching staff has been underwhelming itself to you, keep using the word underwhelming so far, and hasn't been putting guys in the right spot. And that's what my great co-host Andrew Santanzo, to give him props, pointed out. So the big thing with this trade, so it's not just fully underwhelming, unless if the Eagles somehow strike on their fifth round pick, which is not likely in this year's draft, is being able to find a way to develop and nurture Tay Gallon, since it seems like from reading his report, if you go look at them yourselves on NFL and on other sites, it seems like he has some potential, was trending in the right direction, just unfortunately had to opt out for COVID-19 reasons, but well, how can we expect this coaching staff to develop somebody at the current stature with how everything's been going? So that's what we have to see as time goes on. I wish Zach Ertz nothing but the best in Arizona. He's one of my favorite Eagles of my lifetime. I was born in 96, by the way, so he's one of my favorite Eagles of my lifetime and somebody that I'm still going to follow and wish the best to. And I hope, I hope and pray we're able to bring in Tay Gowan and actually put him in the right spot because... 
you don't want to bring in a guy also that has potential to maybe be a late bloomer and a late rounder because he was trending in the right direction and then screw his career because you can't develop him either, which is something I unfortunately think the Eagles have a good chance of doing to the kid. So hopefully he's able to come in here and have success. So have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Fly, Eagles, fly. Go, Eagles. Hopefully we're able to have some success at developing this kid, Tay Gallon. Peace out, everybody.